Welcome back to Real So. Um, I won't be doing no unboxing today. That's why I'm standing. That's why I'm not sitting down. Cause today, uh, I'm gonna tell you a little something about me. Um, your host, Giddy Young Boy. Young boy. Um, I got the aesthetic about shoes, and I think we should get into it. So, to call the long story short, I'll be brief. The story is long, but I'll try to summarize it to the very best I can and um, I really appreciate you guys for tuning in um, I'll be doing unboxing on my next video but I just felt like the real soul family should know you know a little bit about getting young boy who's getting young boy I'm about to find out so uh, giddy young boy was born and raised in Lagos Nigeria I moved out here in 17, that was um, uh, 24th of December, a day before Christmas. And I remember I had a stopover in France before I came here. I, well, I came through, G uh, uh, I landed in uh, JF Kennedy. And shout out to Omar and his brother Muhammad. They really helped me down. You guys are real G's, man. Shout out to you guys. like. The hospitality was on point. I didn't know them from nowhere. I met them on the flight and they was been, they've been so nice to me to this very point. Like shout out to you guys out in Hawaii. Like I can I can never forget you guys. That's it. And um about that, so when I got to New York, um my cousin Top uh Top Boy Mosh and um, Bashman came to come and pick me up in New York and that's how I got here in Maryland, in Baltimore so that's how I got to United States of America the dreamland, you know so back to Nigeria how this shoe started if you don't know now, you know there's a lot of fake shoes flying out around back in my country but from the very start when I was young when I was fortunate, I was lucky to have aunts, uncles out here in the States. Every December, they'll be sending me shoes, you know. It's so crazy that I start off with uh, Jordan. When I was young, I'm already, you know, listing out some, you know, few Jordans, you know. Uh, people know me as the uh, killer dresser. I don't know, like, I dress to kill. It wasn't me, shout out to my mom. And the boy look fresh and uh, listing me up. So, shout out to all my aunts, my uncles that were looking out for me back then. You know, I didn't know how hard it was then. When I got here, then I found out how hard it is. Like, it's not easy. You know, you come out here to this country, people back home just think, oh, you can sell shoes, you can, you can sell shoes, you can sell clothes easy. You know, just that easy. It's not easy, girl. It's not that easy. You got to put in work and a lot of work, you know. Gotta be mentally, physically good too. It's not easy out here. It's not easy. I thought it was too, but it's not. Uh, when I was in Nigeria, the person that made me, that made me like break into shoes, like fell in love with sneakers, was my brother, which is um, Bimbe. Yo, my brother got a lot of shoes. He got a whole room full of shoes, bro. I'm telling you, and all those shoes were authentic. That was the crazy part of it, cause if you have that much kind of shoes, is it that is fufu or it's just a replica? I'm trying to. I saw an Instagram post today. It was like a comedian, but he's, he's a comedian, you know. So his shoes are comedy to me, but I ain't gonna speak on that. Let's get back to my story. So I'm here to talk about my soul story here, you feel me? What brought me into sneakers and what made me, you know, start collecting and start, start selling, start making money off selling just a shoe. It's crazy, but it's the also, you know, it is what it is. Um, I used to go to my brother's place, you know, he's my brother. I used to go to my brother's place, chill, a lot of people hang around and um, I'm telling you, you know, as a Af you already know, if you are, you are African, as your brother, you know, they expect you to do some things like, like washing clothes, washing shoes, 
so i used to go there i can wash up to 20 shoes in a day wash everything up make them look clean spread it out just like that so i'll be checking the slower checking the design I'm like oh shit this shit is dope but i can't afford it so you know remember i told you that i used to wear journals when i was young so when i grew up you know one or two things then like the shoes weren't coming like as before now i'm grown you know things have changed i have to also and get my own money so i'll shout out to lambo we used to go to like a thrift store there's it's called katangua in lagos nigeria i don't know if you know the place but it's called katangua man lambo me and lambo will go there look for some exclusive sh exclusive shoes sneakers clean neat you know sneakers for affordable price and my sister was out in uk but the sneaker culture is in uk is not that big and it's quite expensive it's pounds so he she really don't send me sneakers like that nah she really don't send me sneakers like that but yeah me and lambo be going there and you know that was the way i was looking fresh and my brother be giving me some of his clothes some of his shoes sometimes i got to put some tissue in front of it just for it to fit you know that was the hustle bank then just to look fresh it's crazy so i go i go i go into university and um i started reselling clothes i started reselling shoes just for the fact like oh i like that Oh, and I, I, I was born and raised in Lagos, so I went to a university out, out of the state. It was uh, in Quara, that was the University of Lauren. And uh, people were like admiring me, admiring my feet, like, yeah, we like this. How can I get this? There wasn't much access, so I have to be going to Lagos, buy the stuff, go to Lauren, sell it, make some quick dollar, you know. That was why I'll be surviving. And um, until, you know, my role model when I was growing up, I got a lot of role models, but the one that I can, you know, incorporate, that I can relate to most, shout out to Whiskey, man. Whiskey, Babanla, shout out to you. <laughs> because, yo, it's a different thing to connect to someone's song and it's, it's a different thing to connect to his fashion. His fashion, I connected to his fashion, bro. I'm telling you, yo, whiskey was a good inspiration when it comes to fashion to me, to me. And my role models, a lot of role models. If I start listing them, I won't finish. The likes of Virgil, Kanye, a lot, a lot. I can, I can finish the list. But I look up to Virgil a lot because it is like my role model. I lean towards to a lot because. He wasn't into fashion. He wasn't into fashion design like that. He went for architecture. He was into civil engineering, which was crazy when I gave my admission. I actually went for civil engineering because I was looking up to Virgil. And as an average student, uh, no. As an average student in Nigeria, study civil engineering. Which road am I gonna con construct? Let's be honest. They give the, the, you know, it's crazy out there. I don't give anybody a contract of road to construct. No, sorry. So, as an average student, I had to drop out. So what what actually made me drop out was my dream and my pursuit to be to have my own sneakers you know to have my own personal sneakers like i will have my label and that was what pro real so that was what pro real so so now i dropped out of school already planning to come here in america america to live the american dream so as to say but I'm here in front of you guys, here in front of camera. I have this little platform, which you guys know, Russo, and you're part of the platform. You are, you guys are my family. You're part of the Russo family. You guys have contributed a lot. You guys have supported me a lot, and I really appreciate it from the bottom 
from my heart. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it a lot. So that was a little bit about me. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, because I'm unboxing a lot of shoes. I'm unboxing a lot of shoes coming your way. Subscribe, hit the notification button, because you know it helps the algorithm. And um, let me know what you guys feel. Do you want to hear more of the story? There's more to it. There's more to it, trust me. I want to hear more of my story and what well, actually the first sneakers I buy with my own personal money. Feel free to comment. I, I might do a part two. I just got this part one of the you know of the Diddy Young Boy story. So thanks for watching. I always remember F4A H4N. If you are new to that, that means love for all, hatred for none. And catch you on my next video. Peace.